Hi everyone, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet. Today we are doing part four in our fall wreath crochet tutorials. Um, and if you remember, so far we have made three sunflowers, three mums, and two huge daisies. And now we are moving on to this gorgeous little pumpkin and it is going to be on our wreath as well we're going to need two of these pumpkins okay now i want to ask you to please like and share because if you like and share today you'll be automatically entered into my giveaway for this friday which is going to be for a fall scarf it'll be um it is the exact same scarf that i gave away last time with the beautiful um flower uh flower um i don't even know what it's called <laughs> I'm not feeling too well today but appliques that's the word i'm looking for flower appliques on the scarf and it is um it's really a beautiful scarf so yes please like and share if you're on youtube go over to my facebook page um and um go ahead and like and share and subscribe and say you've done all three and then you're automatically in the giveaway. Um, thank you to my son Breaker who's helping me out today on the computer um, and he should be putting the links below for YouTube um, so that you can find that as well. So let's get started on how to do this beautiful pumpkin. Today you're going to need a size 5H millimeter hook. You're going to need a darning needle just like that. You're going to need a pair of scissors you're going to need if you want to use the same colors as me I'm using red heart and pumpkin I'm also using Walmart's brand mainstays and green and um, if there is a color on these I have yet to find it so if you're watching this and you know where to find the color <laughs> on these mainstays yarn let me know because I have searched everywhere and maybe I'm just looking at any, any, green, any kind of green you want. Um, and you need some stuffing for this pumpkin. Um, we are going to be using yarn, um, some yarn to stuff our pumpkin as well. So if you would rather just use yarn, that's fine. If you don't have um, any kind of stuffing and you want to just repurpose in your home, you can use a old pillow. You can use, as long as it's not feather, <laughs> you can use um, an old stuffed animal that your kids don't like anymore. You can just do anything you want, or you can go buy stuffing. They sell it at Walmart, at Michael's, at Joann's, any kind of craft store. You can buy a bag of stuffing, and it will come in handy if you need it. So let's just go ahead and get started here. We're going to start with our orange, our pumpkin color, rather, from Red Heart. And we're going to start by doing a slip knot and chaining four. One, two, three, and four. Then you're going to slip stitch to the first chain from our slip knot. Then you're going to chain up one and two, and you're going to work ten double crochets into the middle of this circle. One, two, three, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten double crochets right into the center there, working in your piece of yarn as you go along, okay? Then you want to slip stitch not into this first chain of two, but in the first actual double crochet. And we're going to do that for every round, okay? Not in that first chain of two, but in the first double crochet. And there, you've got the beginning of your circle. Just real quick, I want to remind you that if you don't know any of the stitches in this video, please go check out my YouTube page for my beginner um, crochet tutorial that teaches you all of these. Uh, or you can um, go to my 
in my Facebook Live videos. Okay, so now we're going to chain two again, one and two, and we're going to do two double crochets in each stitch around, and that will leave you with a total of 20. So we're going to go to this first one and do two double crochets, one and two, and then three and four, two in each stitch around, five and six, seven and eight. And just all the way around, like I said, you should have 20. So I'm just going to kind of go a little bit faster here. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Okay, so you've got your twenty, and then remember you want to slip stitch not into this first chain of two, but into the actual first double crochet. Okay, now we're going to chain up two again. And one and two. And now we're going to do a sequence of one and two. Again, we're going to do a sequence of one and two. So in the first one, one double crochet, and the second one, two double crochet. And you will keep doing that all the way around for a total of 30. Okay, so you're going to go right into this next stitch and you're going to do one double crochet. And the next one, you're going to do two double crochets. And again, one double crochet and two double crochets. And you're going to do that all the way around. One and two. Again, for a total of 30. And I made up this pattern this morning. Usually when you're doing, if you're not new to crocheting and you've seen these, you normally don't do um, stuffed animals or any kind of thing that is stuffed with a double crochet. But I really wanted to make it easy. And when you do single crochets, it's, it can be highly difficult. Um, it's like it would be easy, but it's not. So I want to try to find a way to do a double crochet for this. And, um, Took me a little time, but I figured it out. <laughs> so again, one and two all the way around. And at this point, all we're doing is we're increasing so that we can make this bigger, similar to how you make a beanie. But of course, we'll stop before it gets that big. But just so you know, if you want to make a huge pumpkin, you could keep going with these increases and decreases, which I will be showing you how to do in a little bit. And you can make a pumpkin as big as a pumpkin that you would grow in your garden. But these are for a wreath, and so they're not going to be that big. <laughs> okay, we're on our last two here. Done one and two all the way around. Again, remember, we are not going to slip stitch into this first chain of two, but into the first double crochet that we worked. Okay? And now the sequence that we're going to do, we're going to chain up two again, one and two. And we're going to do one double crochet in the first space there. One. Oh, excuse me. I went to the second one instead of the first one. One double crochet into the first space, another double crochet into the second, and then two into the next one. So that means it's one, one, two. So we're doing our crochet exercises. 
one, one, and two all the way around and you should have a total of 40. Okay. And I see I'm still buffering a little bit, sorry about that. But looks like we're just buffering through the crocheting part here, so that's okay. See, I just ended on one and one, so now I know I need to do two double crochets. Again, that's for a total of 40. One, one, and two. Okay, and that's what it looks like. You will see a little point here at the end. That is normal. When we get done, it'll be more flattened down. Again. Just going around. One, one, and two. And this is actually a project that you do need to be careful with when it comes to um, counting or getting your sequence right at least. Um, so do try to pay attention. If you mess up a little bit, you can unravel a little bit, figure out what you did wrong, and then just start over again. I actually had to do that myself a couple times while coming up with a pattern. So there's no shame in that game. On our last two, two double crochets to last stitch here, and then again, you want to slip stitch not into the first chain of two but into the first double crochet. Okay, and that's what it looks like so far. Looks like a little, little hat. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a single crochet all the way around. I mean, not a single, a double crochet all the way around in each stitch around. So you're going to chain up two and you're going to work a double crochet in, in each stitch, a double crochet to each stitch around. So you should have, again, a count of 40. And, um, you can count if you want to, or you can just go around and until you find your next spot and then count when you're done. Um, either way you prefer. But yeah, we're just going around and doing double crochets into each stitch around. This is just going to make our pumpkin a little bit bigger. And then after this round, we're going to decrease. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's not hard at all. If you've never done a decrease, I'm going to go a little bit slow because that is not in my beginner tutorial. So you will know how to do one by the end of this video. And when I first started making stuffed animals and stuffed projects, Um, it was a little bit daunting to learn how to do that, but it's actually very easy once you get the hang of it. So again, we're just working one double crochet and each chain, ar each chain ar stitch around for a chain uh, uh, 40, a total of 40. And right now, it definitely does not look like a pumpkin. But it will, I promise. It will look like pumpkin soon. It's 
kind of like when you're painting and you've done the background to your painting and you start doing all this other stuff and your painting looks so bad they call that the ugly stage and I think that we even have those stages in crochet um, sometimes we're going along and we're like oh this is not gonna turn out good this looks so weird but it's just the ugly stage and then it turns into what it's supposed to be I just worked in my last double crochet and again I'm going to slip stitch not into the first chain of two but into this first double crochet and I should have 40 around okay I'm not gonna count but you're more than welcome to it looks like I'm doing pretty good and um, doing what I'm supposed to be doing it's what it should look like okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start decreasing and to decrease what we're going to do is is we're going to chain up two we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet there, and that next stitch, and then we're going to decrease, decrease what we call a decrease double crochet. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go into your next stitch, you're going to yarn over, you've got three on your hook, you're going to go through the first two. That leaves two. Then you're going to yarn over, go into your next stitch. Now you've got four on your hook, go through two, that leaves three, go through all three. Okay? Again, we're going to do one double crochet in that stitch, and then you're going to do a double crochet decrease. So you're going to go into your stitch there, you've got three on your hook. You're going to go through two, that leaves two. You're going to yarn over, go through the next stitch, pull up, go through two, that leaves three on the hook, and pull through all three. Then you're going to do another double crochet in the next stitch. So basically, so what you're doing is you're doing one double crochet and a double crochet. Um, double crochet decrease that is a mouthful <laughs> and I'm already having trouble talking today <laughs> so anyways one double crochet and then a double crochet decrease which will take up two stitches okay and then again a double crochet and then again another double crochet decrease so we're going to do that all the way around and I'm going to show you again I'm going to try to get up real close here buffering. I'm going to try to get up because I can show you how to do this decrease, okay? So we're going to yarn over just like we're going in to do a normal double crochet. But when we pull up our yarn, we're just going to go through two, which leaves two on our hook. We're going to yarn over again, go to the next stitch, pull up, go through two, and then that leaves these three, and then we go through all three. Okay? Then again, We go to our next stitch and we go to our next stitch and we do just a regular double crochet and then again we do another double crochet decrease we yarn over we go into our next stitch we go through the first two loops that leaves two on our hook we yarn over again go to our next stitch pull up our yarn go through two that leaves three on our hook we go through all three and you're going to do that all the way around till you get to the end there so again we're going to go into our next stitch we're going to go into our next stitch and do a double crochet and then in the next one we're going to do a double crochet decrease I'm just trying to go in slow motion here so I can show you how to do it again one double crochet and then a double crochet decrease going into our next stitch go through two yarn over next stitch pull up go 
go through two, and then go through all three. And then just one double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so now that I've showed you that, I'm gonna speed up a little bit. I am on live. So I'm gonna speed up a little bit so we can get this done. If for some reason you didn't get any get something, just uh, feel free to pause, fast forward, rewind when this video is over, or if you want to catch it on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you want to do, um, you can do that. And um, yeah, so again, double crochet decrease, and then one double crochet. And I'm just doing that all the way around. One double crochet and then a double crochet decrease. And what this does is it just pulls our yarn in to make it smaller at the top to give it that round effect that we need to make our pumpkin. And it's also the same technique that you use to make other stuffed animals and to even make a beanie. Okay, and I'm here at the end. I'm not going to slip stitch to the very top of the first two, but into the actual double crochet. Okay. Now, we're going to do the very same thing that we just did over again. We're going to chain up two. We're going to do one single crochet. And then we're going to double crochet decrease in the next two stitches. And then again, a double crochet, and then a double crochet decrease in the next two stitches. And we're going to do just what we did in the previous row. We're going to do again the exact same. Okay. And you're going to notice as you're working along that as you go, you're going to see the holes are. getting a little bit bigger. You're gonna notice your holes are getting bigger as you decrease, okay? And that's normal, that's okay, that it's what's it's that's what it's supposed to look like. That's why people normally do single crochets, but that's okay because I've got a little trick that we're gonna do to make that look just perfect. So again, going into our next one to a double crochet decrease and one double crochet and then a double crochet decrease and then one double crochet and then decrease and then one double crochet we're just doing that all the way around Oh, and by the way, you should have a stitch count of 30 at this point. If you're counting and you need that, that is what you're going to need. So again, double crochet. We're on to our last double, double crochet decrease. I'm going to show it to you in slow motion one more time. I go into my next stitch. I yarn over. I go through two. I leave those two loops. I yarn over. I go into my next stitch. I go through the first two loops which leaves three and then I go through all three okay now I'm here at the end again I do not um, slip stitch into the first chain of two but into my first double crochet okay I'm gonna pull kind of tight there 
and this is what it looks like so far okay now we are still going to continue decreasing so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to chain up one and two and then we're just going to do double crochet decreases all the way around with no regular double crochet so I'm going to show you how to do that you're just going to basically did what we did before in each stitch around okay but we knew it took two stitches to do a double crochet decrease so if we go into our first one here into this first one and we pull up we go through our first two which leaves two we go into our second stitch go through the first two that leaves three and we just keep doing that all the way around okay so again we're just going to decrease now in each stitch okay So let me show you what this looks like. Okay. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to go into my, because now the stitches are further apart. So it looks a little bit different. I want you to know that that is normal. Again, these spaces are normal. It's going to be a little bit harder to work into as you go up to the top here, but that's okay. Just keep doing it. So we're going to go into our next stitch, pull up our yarn, go through two, leave those two yarn over go into the next one pull up go through two and that leaves three on your hook go through all three and we're just going to continue to do that all the way around which shouldn't take as long as it did before because we've decreased so much that we don't have as many stitches all the way around decreasing okay we're on our last one here okay and then we want to slip stitch just like we've been doing not in the first one but in the second one okay not in that first chain of two but in the first double crochet that we worked we're going to slip stitch okay and this is what it should look like right now I'm kind of pressing it out with my fingers here okay and then we've got this little hole here at the top now what I want you to do is I'm going to show you how to stuff this pumpkin now I'm going to show you how to stuff this pumpkin so I'm going to leave a lot of this out okay and I'm even going to leave my hook on the end right here like that okay because I'm about to stuff this with yarn because let me show you what happened when I did these pumpkins I've got this pumpkin here and as you can tell I did it with stuffing and because it's a double crochet at the bottom you can see the stuffing coming out if that doesn't bother you again this is going to be sitting on a wreath so you really can't see the bottom so if you want to use stuffing that's fine however it bothered my perfectionist heart and so I said you know what I'm gonna put orange yarn in this and some stuffing and it's gonna take all that white away okay especially since we're using double crochets and when I did that this is the effect I got you can still see a little bit of stuffing but I use mainly yarn and that's why that you can't see that okay so what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna take my yarn and I'm just gonna pull a ton of yarn off just gonna keep I mean I can't even tell you the exact amount I'm using the other side of my red heart um, I'm using the other side of it because it's still attached to my pumpkin is still attached to the other side which is why we pulled our our last loop up so big and kept our hook in it so that we don't lose where we stopped okay so bear with me I think I'm rocking my camera a little bit because I am pulling off a ton of yarn here 
and um so yeah i you can just pull off as much as you want and then stuff and then decide if you need more um i did this earlier so i kind of have an idea of what i'm gonna need um so yeah see i've got like that much so far and i know i'm gonna need more than that um this is also a really good way to get rid of any kind of um, extra stuff you have um you don't have to use orange you could use a red um you could use maybe a brown a light brown um it's a good way to get rid of extra yarn little bits that you don't need um, but i wouldn't use like a white or a black but that's up to you hey maybe black would look good get creative with it okay so i have this huge thing of yarn here and i'm going to cut that off put this back over here and i'm going to flip over my pumpkin that took a a dive here sorry about all that that noise okay. and i'm sure that my piece is still out here with my hook on the end okay because this can get a little confusing and we're just going to take our big ball of yarn and we're just going to stuff it into the middle of the pumpkin just like this okay and we're going to we're going to um see here we're going to push this all around here making sure that our little loop here still stays out okay and what i'm doing is i'm just pressing it into the insides of the pumpkin okay because i want it to catch all the sides so you can't see any of the stuffing okay so then now that i've done that i'm going to take some of my stuffing like this and i'm going to go right into the center Of this pump in here, making sure the yarn is still on the outside. And look at that. You cannot see the stuffing. Isn't that great? I thought it was a nifty idea when I did it. <laughs> so, anywho, that's what it looks like. It's up to you on how much you want it stuffed, if you want it really stuffed or not. Um, this is what I prefer, just like this. Actually, it could use a little bit more. Um, just going to put a tiny bit more in here. Um, and you will be able to see some of this stuffing on the end, but that's okay because this is going to be the bottom of my pumpkin. My main concern was that you could not see it around the sides. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this back the way we had it. <laughs> we've still got our hook. We've still got our, our stuff where it needs to be. And now we're going to, um, double crochet decrease all the way around we're not even going to count we're just going to be working in the circle which means we don't slip stitch to end it until we've only got like two left so i'm going to show you how to do this so i'm going to do chain up two like i've been doing and i'm going to decrease double crochet all the way around and i'm not going to slip stitch at the end okay i'm just going to keep doing double crochet decreases all the way around okay so I'm going into this next one it is a little bit harder to work as you come up here to the top and you've got it stuffed as well so I'm really trying to show you how I'm doing this here But you're just going to, as you can see, as I'm going along, this hole keeps getting smaller and smaller as I go. Okay? So I'm not paying attention to my count anymore. I'm paying attention to how much space I have left in the middle of my hole there. Okay? So as you can see, we're getting closer and closer. So I'm going to do... into this next stitch here okay 
And as you can see, that's what it looks like. And I think that's good enough for me, okay? If you want to do another two or so, that's fine. But I know that I'm fixing to get my darning needle on here, and it's going to pull this in for me. So I'm just going to go to my very next stitch. Now that I've got it closed up, I'm going to slip stitch. And I'm going to pull off about three feet of yarn before I cut, okay? About three feet. Then I'm going to snip it off, and then I'm going to close off just like I normally do. I'm just going to pull through, and look at that. Look how much yarn <laughs> I saved. It's about three feet, okay, because we're going to use this for something, okay? So that's what the bottom of the pumpkin looks like right there, and this is going to be our top, okay? This is going to, it will bulge out a little bit like that. That's fine. We're fixing to fix that in just a minute, but you can take your hand. You can rub it around to make it look smoother, whatever you want to do, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my darning needle, and I'm going to go find the bottom of my yarn that's so long, okay? And I'm going to get that in there like that. And I'm going to go through right through the bottom of this into the very top, right through this hole. So I'm just going to push, just pushing my needle in through the very bottom and out through the very middle, the very middle here, just like this. Okay? And we're going to make the ridges in the pumpkin. So now what we're going to do, we've done that. So now we're going to go around it like this. And we're going to pull our needle up and go through again, going through the bottom up to the top. And you're going to love this magic. When we do this, look at this, do it kind of tight, and it creates a ridge. Okay? So we're going to do that again. We're going to have a total, I think, about four or five ridges. You can do as many as you want. But we're just going to keep going through. Okay, just like this. And every time we do, kind of pull a little bit. And then I think I'm going to go over here, do another one, going through the bottom and up through the top, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to do it one more time. Going through here. And then you can move that over if you don't like where it's at, or if you do, you can leave it alone. But then I'm just going to do one more time, just like that. And then I'm going to go right back down through my middle, through the bottom. Okay? And look, look at there. That's what it looks like so far. That's what your bottom looks like. Again, you can see where there is a little bit of the white. You can take your needle you and press it back down. But again, that'll be the bottom, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're going to leave this hanging, this long piece of orange yarn here. Just leave it. You're going to have some left over, and you need that left over. That's fine, because remember, you need something to sew onto your wreath. Okay, so onto the stem of this pumpkin. It's so easy to do. Don't give up yet, um, because um, it's not hard at all. I found a really easy way to make a really cute stem, okay? So we're going to move our pumpkin over. We're going to pull in our green yarn. We're going to do a slip knot. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. We're going to slip stitch into the first stitch from the slip knot. And then we're going to do single, uh, five single crochets into the middle of your circle. Okay, so one, two, three, and four, and five. And then you're going to pull, and you're going to uh, slip stitch to the first chain just like that 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to work in the circle and we're not going to do any slip stitches. And I want you to now do 60 single crochets working in a circle all the way around. So all I want you to do is go to your first stitch here and start counting. And these are a little hard to do. Um, so just kind of get, get in there. So one, two, three, four, five. Remember you're working in the circle, so you just keep going around. You do not slip stitch. Six, and you're gonna go up to 60, okay? So I'm gonna count silently in my head because counting to 60 would be very irritating. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep going. It is a little hard to work into this. I'm kind of holding it, it's very small. So holding it with two fingers. And I'm just going all the way around, working in the circle, not slip stitching, just doing single crochets all the way around till I reach 60. And I think I want about 20, <laughs> I think, because I was running my mouth. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it inside out. This little piece here, I'm just going to kind of be a little rough with it. It's okay. You can be rough, rough, a little rough with your yarn and pull it inside out just like that and that's what it should look like and now we can continue working okay you can take this little piece that you have hanging and just stuff it right into the middle here so you won't have to deal with it and just keep going around I think I was at 20 I'm going right into my next stitch for 21 And it will take a little bit. I think I'm on 30 right now. Again, if you want this to be bigger, you can just count for longer than 60, whatever you want. If you want your, your stem to be longer, that's fine. I just wanted to give you a, a number to work with here. Again, I'm just working in the circle, going, just going around. I'm on 42, and that is a very rough guesstimate. <laughs> 42, and I'm just kind of putting my finger in here. And holding it as I go because it is hard to hold. Forty eight, maybe <laughs> forty nine. 50, 51, we're getting close. And as you can see, it starts to turn in to A stem as you go along. Fifty eight, fifty nine, 
60. Again, yours might look smaller or <laughs> shorter. I don't really know because I lost count somewhere along the way. But basically, I just wanted you to under get the idea of what it should look like. And this is what it should look like, just like this. This does not need to be stuffed. I mean, unless you want it to be, it really is not necessary. It's stiff enough to where it holds up on its own. Okay, now to make the leaf, you've just ended your 60. You're, you've still got your, your loop here, and you're going to chain 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Then the second stitch from the hook, check, second chain from the hook, you're going to single crochet, then you're going to double crochet into the next chain. I'm sorry, you're going to half double crochet. You're going to half double crochet into the next chain. Then you're going to double crochet into each chain all the way to the end. So one, two, three, four, five, and six double crochets and then you're going to slip stitch into this first slip stitch that we did right there you're going to slip stitch again into that and then you're going to again I want you to at least have um, I don't know about a about a foot or two there to work with okay And then you're going to just close off like you normally would and pull your yarn all the way through. And now we're going to attach this to the top of our pumpkin. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to put this on our darning needle. This. Then we're going to place this however you want it, okay? But this is the way it's going to look. This is just going to naturally fall over the side, and this is going to sit just like this, okay? And we're still attached here. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it where we want, and then we're going to take take our piece of yarn here, and we're going to go through then we're going to go right through the middle and back through the end, just like we were doing when we did the ridges for our pumpkin, okay, to secure this on. Then we're going to go right back through again, the bottom and out the top, and we're going to catch a piece of our stem, and we're going to do it again. We're going to go down again. All we're doing, all we're doing is securing this stem and you see as I do it it starts to stand up a little bit more so again we're gonna go through just one more time we're gonna catch it at the other side just like this okay and then we're gonna pick it and get a little piece of it there and then go through to the other side again okay and I think that's enough I think it's secure and look at that and our little leaf just goes right off the side to finish this off I'm just gonna take off my darning needle I'm going to take both of these pieces of yarn and I'm going to tie them in a knot just to 